If you have heard of London's Oxford Street, then you must be interested in peering into the past and discovering its historical significance. Do you remember the last time you strolled down a busy city street and marveled at the crowds, the hustle and bustle, and the endless variety of sights and sounds? Well, imagine a time when Oxford Street was not just a shopping haven, but a place filled with barbaders, theaters, and public houses. Oxford Street has a rich history that dates back centuries, with its roots as part of a Roman road called Via Trinobentina. The street underwent several name changes before finally becoming known as Oxford Street. It was once avoided by the middle and upper classes due to its proximity to the Tyburn Gallows and the infamous slum of St. Giles. However, as the years went by, Oxford Street transformed into a popular destination, with the opening of iconic stores like John Lewis and Selfridges. But Oxford Street was not spared from the ravages of war. During the Second World War, the street suffered significant damage from enemy bombing raids. Many buildings, including department stores like John Lewis and Selfridges, were damaged or destroyed. The impact of the war forever changed the landscape of Oxford Street, leaving behind a legacy that still lingers to this day. As we journey through these old photographs, we are transported to a time when Oxford Street was a very different place. The images capture the essence of a bygone era, where the streets were filled with queues, fumes, crowds, and pickpockets. The sepia-toned photographs provide a window into the past, allowing us to witness the transformation of Oxford Street over the years. The most exciting part is still ahead, so let's immerse ourselves in the images and reminisce about that era. The historical significance of these old photographs lies in their ability to transport us back in time and evoke a sense of nostalgia. As we explore these images, we are reminded of the rich history of Oxford Street and the enduring spirit of the people who once walked its storied pavements. My first paid job was delivering newspapers. The first paid acting job I got was dressing up as Edam Cheese and handing out leaflets on London's Oxford Street. I got pushed over by these little Herberts and given a good shoe in. Jason Fleming, I walk to Oxford Street and climb on the number 8. It's freezing and it starts to rain and it's the ugliest bus I've ever seen, rattling down the ugliest streets, in the ugliest city, in the ugliest country, in the ugliest of all possible worlds. David Thewlis, the late Hector Kipling, whenever I tell people I'm a misanthrope they react as though that's a bad thing, the idiots. I live in London, for God's sake. Have you walked down Oxford Street recently? Misanthropy's the only thing that gets you through it. Charlie Brooker, we are far from liking London well enough till we like its defects, the dense darkness of much of its winter, the soot on the chimney pots and everywhere else, the early lamplight, the brown blur of the houses, the splashing of hansoms in Oxford Street or the Strand on December afternoons. There is still something that recalls to me the enchantment of children, the anticipation of Christmas, the delight of a holiday walk, in the way the shopfronts shine into the fog. It makes each of them seem a little world of light and warmth, and I can still waste time in looking at them with dirty Bloomsbury on one side and dirtier Soho on the other. Henry James So, then, Oxford Street, stony-hearted stepmother, thou that listenest to the sighs of orphans, and drinkest the tears of children, at length I was dismissed from thee. Thomas de Quincey as we savor these old photographs, let's take a moment to appreciate the enduring legacy of Oxford Street and the many stories it has to tell. It is a testament to the resilience and spirit of a city that has weathered the storms of history and emerged stronger than ever. Join us as we journey through time and rediscover the magic of London's Oxford Street. Thank you.